talk about this team, we're going to be fixing another VGC Series 13 team. This one's submitted by Clue. It uses uh, Rillaboom, Yveltal, Kali Shadow, Indidi, Eternatus, Kyogre. I think overall, this team is pretty good. I think this team is pretty good, but there are a couple things that you need to potentially change to give this team the slight edge that it needs. It's very, very close. So that's why we're going to be fixing it today. And uh, if anyone has any teams they want to submit or need feedback on, just let me know. I'll do my very best to help. Overall, it looks like a lot of the EVs are done, for the most part, relatively correct. Uh, the natures are right. Uh, I like exactly what the team's trying to do. But I think the team can be, like, optimized just slightly. First of all, one of the big thing changes that we're going to make is, like, I don't know if your Rillaboom is supposed to not be G-Max. But if you're going to be using Rillaboom, you should definitely think about making this a G-Max Rillaboom. Um, obviously, so you can go for like big max moves. I think another thing that you actually don't want is to actually use Rillaboom at all. I think if, if I were building this team, the number one Pokemon I would be adding here would be Zacian. I'd be adding a Zacian over the Rillaboom um, just because you already have redirection. Um, you already have potential speed control. I understand that like you want to have fake out, but you can just go like Yveltal Indidi and just get your speed control like that and then just bring out things like Eternatus, Kyogre. Kyogre also has like Icy Wind and stuff like that. I think this is one of the few teams that Zacian can actually shine on. And I think... Having a Rillaboom just makes it so your team's more susceptible to other Rillabooms. I understand that, like, Rillaboom's good to beat Groudon's with, but, like, you shouldn't have a problem with Groudon if you're rocking, like, Yveltal, Kali Shadow, and Kyogre, right? So even if Groudon, like, goes up, it's not that big of a deal. I think Zacian's a good mon here. Um, let's take a look at some of these Eevees. Um, I think Kyogre, you definitely want to take that four out of there and put that in defense just because, like, you know, it's Kyogre. Um, on this set, Toxic's really cool to see on a set like this, but... 168, so it's the right it's the right EVs to outspeed base 100s here, and that's correct. Good EV spread. That's great. There's nothing wrong with this. If you're going to be a Toxic Staller, this is how to do it. Skateboarding's hard. Skateboarding's hard, I agree. Um, it's hard to get into as well. Follow me, protect Shadow Ball, Heal Pulse. I don't think you need the Heal Pulse. Also, Heal Pulse can be um, moved. Heal Pulse can be like redirected. I think this would be better off as a Helping Hand. Like, I really think it would be better off as a Helping Hand. I also think you're not as weak to Kali Shadow as you think you might be because your ogre outspeeds it and just can absolutely dumpster it. So, like, I would make this expanding force for sure still. And I would... If you really like the Shadow Ball, you can have it, but you don't have any special attack. You actually can't even Oko Kali Shadow. So I would make this Helping Hand. And another thing you might want to think about doing is making the Helping Hand into a safeguard if you're having a big problem with the Moongus, but, like, it is what it is. Um, you also are a little bit wasting EVs. 236 is all you need to outspeed... Or uh, not get KO'd by Jolly Zacian. So... 20 is just a little bit better, but I really like that you're using the zero speed speed reduced. How long have I been skating? I've been skating for a long time. I started skating in the 90s, but I took a huge break and I just started back up when the pandemic started. So only a couple years, but I do a lot of freestyle stuff. I do a little bit of street and I do a little bit of park skating. Uh, if you're going to be using an Imprison Cali set, good set. Nothing wrong with this at all. You can put the four in defense if you're afraid of like Shadow Sneak Sucker Punches, but Imprison Cali, always good. Uh, being able to Imprison Protects is another reason why Zacian is really good on this team, because if you Imprison Protects, Zacian just comes in and rolls people over. The Eveltal. I like the Eveltal set. I think it's being played correctly, but I do not like the Sucker Punch. I think Sucker Punch and Entity clash way too hard. I think they clash way, way too hard. I know you do have the foul play, but what I would do is I would cut the Sucker Punch for Protect. That's what I would do. I think Protect is so important to have on your Tailwind Setters. I like the EV spreads. I like what's going on here. I don't think you need nearly as much attack as you're using on this thing because it's mostly just going to be a foul play bot in my opinion um yes you have the dual wing beat to break like in sin or uh nonsense whimsicots and stuff like that but i think that like realistically also another thing is you need to actually you don't need to but like 236 is fine i would go the 244 to make sure you're 150 otherwise you're not outspeeding the things you need to outspeed and then from there again i don't think you need this much attack or, or you could cut the foul play and keep the sucker punch, but like I don't think you realistically need that much. I think it's a little bit of a waste. Let's cut this down to 100. And I mean, if it's working for you as a max move, go for it. But when they think about it, like physical, the thing about physical Yveltal and why people go special Yveltal, which I think you should just go special, we should just go special, um, is that physical Yveltal, max darkness lowers their speed def, and that doesn't let your team function. Like, lowering their spadef doesn't help if you're physical. So, like, I realistically think you should just make this into Dark Pulse and uh, Oblivion Wing. And if that's the case, you'd want to make this into something like this. You get, like, a 4-4-4 four, four, four spread, or 4-4-12, four, four, and you put the rest right here. Or, sorry, it's that's still a 4. 
and you're able to go 252. And one more cool thing about this is you have the tailwind up here for when you need it, and you go heat wave here, and this can let you Oko Zacian without the use of so a life orb but max flare will let you Oko Zacian. Um, which is really good if you can pass some sort of speed boost onto it from like your own airstream, which you're already having. So I would try something like this. This is just my personal opinion. Um, and just let me know how that goes. As for Zashin, we've talked a little bit about Zashin today. The Zashin set that I personally use looks like this. It looks like this. Very, very bulky. This lets you outspeed base 105s, which is going to be mine shouts. Um, and the it's still out it's still valued outspeed mine child. It's still a usable Pokemon. You don't outspeed things like genies, but you don't really need to with this sort of team because also you have icy one the ogre. We're really leaning into the icy one and the ogre on this team, so I do like that a lot. Um, Zashian and Etranus can be a really good pivot with the use of Yveltal, so I like that a lot. Uh, you can go protect uh, Sacred Sword, Play Rough, and Behemoth. And this is what I would try with this team. And let's go play a couple games with it and see if it works. So very very solid team. Um, Thundee, Speed Control, so Indy's gonna be great. I always like to say it's a good idea to bring Indy against any time you see Grimm's. So they also have like both multiple big fake out monsters like that too. Like there's nothing wrong with leading Indy here. The only issue I'm seeing now is like Kyogre and Thundee being an issue. So we can like Indy of Eltal and we can just pop their Thundee in the mouth, bring out Scarf Kyogre in the back. And this is where Zashin could like tear this guy apart. We can also go Kali. We don't need to stop Trick Room and this Kali isn't Scarf, so I don't think we need it. I think that Zashin's probably better here. But you could also think about just going Eternatus and walling their Kyogre, walling their Thundee, walling their Zacian. I'll bring the Eternatus to show you how the Zacian, to show you the wall, right? So this is great. So what we need to do here is we're just going to go Redirection, and we're actually going to Airshin the Incense so we can guarantee outspeed the, uh, the Zacian next turn. Let's go for a Follow Me. Go for an airstream. We'll outspeed the Zacian next turn and be able to uh, flare it. We also are doing this in case, like, what if they hard switched out in Sin for Kyogre and made it and just KO'd our entity? That'd really suck if we didn't have that speed boost. So you always want to stick that speed boost first and then come out. With the spread, Flamethrower also took a Zacian. It's not about KOing the Zacian, it's about making the Zacian waste all of its PP and not ever being able to break you. And then you just win. So there's the player off. See how that entity spread always lives that? Big damage on in Sin doesn't matter that we don't get the KO. It sucks. It's EV spread. It's EV trying to live that. We're as fast as we possibly can be. They're wasting that. They can bring out literally whatever they want here, but now we can outspeed their Zacian and KO. So if they want to bring in Kyogre here, it's completely fine. Uh, we outspeed a full speed Ogre, I think. We're, we're not timid, so we don't actually outspeed a full speed Ogre, but it's fine. We're just going to go for following one more time. Um, I don't think there's a problem with Max Darknessing the Ogre, because it'll drop the Spadef, which means we do more damage to it with our Ogre. And then after a spadef drop, I think actually we can just dumpster the Zacian. Big damage into Ogre. Okay. Big damage there. So Zacian's gonna go first. Second play rough. Kyogre comes into this slot. Origin Pulse doesn't do a ton. So we can kill their Ogre and we can kill their Zacian. Easy peasy. And we want to pass one more airstream. So they might switch in Sin. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna airstream the Kai ogre and go for a spout because they have a spit f drop and so a kyogre should be able to get a ko awesome and if they even if they max the over this turn we win cool so we stick that last airstream they have all their max turns left but if they're stuck on a mixture of in sin and something i think even if they have a rilla i think we're still okay realistically it should be something else dundee probably yep awesome so you can fake out one but you can't fake out both and we have big speed boosts so spout we don't even need the tailwind Even if you, like, fake out here and, like, airstream here, like, Kyger still outspeeds. Because it's at a plus two instead of a plus one. And these two boards, these two mods can't break the, uh, Etranus in the back. There's the max. Fake out's fine. Lose your Sin. Almost lose your Thundee. Take out one. Can't take out both. Max Lightning's fine, so they can't break the level until now. Might as well just do Cosmic Power and just kind of wait them out. Yo, we win. Are there rewards in VGC? Yeah, they give cash money. Money in the bank. So pretty good. You can see how this Yveltal set is a lot more aggressive than the one that was submitted uh, in certain ways. Like, we we also didn't have to care about Intimidate from Insin. And they have to go Intimidate to stop our Zacian from rolling them over. Good stuff. Let's go to another game. Metal Metal. So Jungle Healing... Was this team featured on Road to Ranked recently? I think it was. 
So against a team like this, they don't have fake out. So we can be the bully if we want, which means we can lead Kyogre. I'm going to go Kali. I think Kali's a good lead against this. Kali Yveltal is actually pretty pog here. We can just go and we can just go. Yeah, I like that. Kali. Zacian's also really good here. But Kali Volta is good. Uh, bring the Kyogre and like realistically, I think Etranus could be very good, but we're just remembering the Zacian. Let's try this. Let's see if they lead Kali too. Melmetal Porygon, right? Melmetal Kali, okay. That Kali has Trick Room. I know that it does. So in this case scenario, I think that there's nothing actually wrong with going Trick Room, sorry, in prison and actually just uh, Airstreaming the Kali to outspeed it. And then next turn, we can go Astral, one-shot the Melmetal. This stops Trick Room, and I don't think they KO anything here, because, like, Imprison would go before the Melmetal attack, so, like, we'd be able to stop Trick Room, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Protect, we break Sash. No Protects. And then next turn, we're going to be mixing up the moves, so that's Protect broken. We get a Speed Boost. Speed Swap's fine. Max Lightning, wow. All right, so then this turn we can use Astral, KO their Kali, and what's more damage? 260 versus 172. So this is more damage. Let's go. Astral, big damage. And hopefully we can KO the Melmetal here. I don't know if we can. Oh, that's a bulky boy. It's fine. Meltdown's fine. We can't go for Astral again, but we can go for... Let's think about this. We have the Imprison up. We can't Astral. Kyogre's fine. This is a Protect turn. Kyogre's Scarfed, but we just gotta get the Melmetal off the board. Cool. And now we're not affected by the G Max whatever thing. And we just bring out our Zashin to clean up. Should be able to get the cleanup here. We Astral to make sure that we can take out the Zarud. Because Zarud's the uh, bigger issue. Like Spout wouldn't be able to do it. Origin Pulse wouldn't be able to get a crit here. Even a crit Origin Pulse wouldn't have carried Zashin spread. That's one thing that we're EV trying to deal with. And then we get the win. Cool. That was close, but we didn't let them even think about going for Trick Room. So good stuff. All right. Good win. Good win. Good game. Let's do one more. Van the Mole. Haha. See ya. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Galvantula Gastrodon. So it's going to be really hard to use Kyogre here. Um, We don't really need to respect Trick Room, though, but we do need to respect Grim. So anytime you see the Grim, you got to go to the Unity. I think in any scenario where this is their board, you definitely go the Evaltal. Um, Calyrex has good revenge KO moms against most of those, and then this is a good matchup for Zashian. Cool. Awesome. So a game like and against a board like this, we could we don't have to max the Evaltal, but I still think it's the right play. Um, I think I'm just gonna click expanding force and we just double, right? So I, I I think this is a good matchup to like yeah, I would go expanding. I'm going to target the Gastro, um, and we're actually going to airstream the Gastro as well. We're going to try and get Gastro off the board, while also breaking the Galvantula Sash. Electro is fine. This is why we're airstreaming to keep speed control. This should make us still faster. The Entity should still... It might not be faster than Gastro. That'd be really bad if we get yawned here. It'd be really bad. Awesome. Morse. Oh, we didn't get the Kale, though! No! Oh, that's fine. They didn't go for yawn. It's good with me. Awesome. So, in this case scenario, it's completely fine to just go... Um, Expanding force and just go for a max. Right, I waste a turn, but a good play from them. A good play. There's nothing I can do about that. If they if they recover, that sucks. But like we're still faster. Cool. All right, there's the Groudon. This is our last max turn. I think we actually just go after the the. Well, we don't have Kyogre. to go after Giratina, right? We're still faster because we didn't get that second Electro Web. So, like, we're still faster than anything a Giratina would be. So, it would have to be max guarding here, which means it would waste a turn. We can come up with Calyrex and pin. And then we just outpin the Groudon. They should be actually maxing the Groudon. But we have enough stuff to deal with it. Cool. Giratinas usually don't have room for Protect. They usually just use the Shadow Force for it. So, we just get the KO, drop the Spadef. We win with Cali Shadow in the back. 
If they would have protected there, they still would have got the spit up drop and would have been fine. Awesome. And just redirect it up. Awesome. It's gonna be game. Not in like three turns. <laughs> the KO there, get a quake boost. No big deal. They're running out of max turns. They have one more max turn left, but we have a Zashim, so we win. Easy peasy. Cool. So hopefully you can see like the slight changes we made to the Yveltal made Yveltal like a much more prominent part of this team. Like, yeah, Yveltal Indity is like really, really hard to respect, but also they have to respect like Kali Indity. They have to respect Indity Eternatus. I didn't even go into like how deep the team can actually go. Um, this guy left all now. Um, but yeah, so like the team, you can also go like into the Ogre. There's so many different things. Like Indity adds an element to the team that forces your opponent to respect a bunch of different options while really limiting the things that they can do. I think that one of the things that people want to do against this sort of team is go like Wimscott and trade like Tailwind to enable both of their mons in the back have to deal with the Wimscott to do good. And if that's the case, if you're if you're going to see them going Wimscott and being a big bully with speed control, you can go like into the, Cal or into the Eternatus and just pop like Cosmic Powers Redirections. They're going to take two to three turns to deal with Entity. Then we're going to be able to win with Eternatus in the back. So hopefully you like the changes. Um, and it just shows how even if you're playing like a long game with like a bulky Eternatus, you can have a team that punishes people for leading incorrectly immediately with a big Yveltal. Because the cool thing about Eternatus is we don't need to max. Like, we want to go hard maxing Yveltal early, bring that Eternatus in the back to just, like, solidify the win condition, while also potentially having an Ogre to deal with, like, Groudles and stuff like that. So, very, very cool team. Hopefully you like the changes. Um, and, uh, there you go.